Hello everyone, happy to see you here and welcome back to my channel Higher Mathematics. Really interesting question today, we have an exponential equation x to the power x equal to 4. And I think most of you can easily solve it by inspection, they can write by inspection, correct answer is some, like something answer, yeah? But in math this is really bad, bad solution. First of all this is really bad for teacher, because teacher want you to know about really interesting tricks, approaches, and when they see, like uh, when you solve it by inspection, this is really bad solution. First of all for teacher and of course for you because because you need to know how, how can you solve it correctly step by step with tricks with approaches teacher want you to know really interesting tricks and when you write by inspection correct answer is for example in our case yeah correct answer is like by inspection correct answer is two it looks like two square equal to equal to equal to four yeah but we are interested in solution in in this video i'm going to short solve it correctly and step by step i hope you understand my thought this is really interesting and important important thoughts first of all we have x to the power x and uh, just forget get uh, inspection method right here. Let's try to solve it step by step. Let's try to think in, in another way. Right here we have x to the power x. This is like a base and exponent. This is like a constant on the right hand side. It looks like an easy question, but we need to know two really interesting tricks. First, tricks is, first trick is the next one. If you have like exponent and power right here, you, it's really great to know about natural log or log, wherever you want. Let's apply natural log on both sides. So we have natural log my marker doesn't write, so we have natural log x <coughs> to the power x equal to natural log natural log 4, okay? We just apply natural log on both sides, okay? And why I apply this? Because x can easily jump right here, with, this is like the main, one of the main log, log property, natural log property as well, so we have like x times natural log x equal to natural log 4. Yeah, so we just change nothing, we just apply natural log on both sides, it's it's really great, so we just we just change nothing. Okay, what we're we going to do next? And uh, but, but before I want to write this rule, I want you to understand, I want you to learn, so we, if we have natural log a to the power b, this is equal to b times natural log a. So this b jumps right here and it's it's really great. Okay, let's go to the next. This is like the first trick right here I want you to learn. And the second trick. You need to know about Lambert W function because right here we have x, we have uh, x in the natural log, which is find a little bit difficult for us because we have x and x inside of, th of this natural log. It's not, it's hard like to, to find our x like uh, in one step. So we need to know about Lambert W function. A lot of students have difficulties with this Lambert W function because they don't understand it. But I want to explain you in simple word. For example, imagine you you have expression like that if you have a times e to the power a. Just imagine you have something like that expression, where a is wherever you want expression, doesn't matter. A long, complicated, or like an easy expression, maybe constant, maybe only our x. Yeah, and of course we need to have e, like, so we have like a and a, so the same expression in a power and in right here is, is product. So if you apply Lambert W function from this, as a result, you will have like only our a, and it's really great because right here we can easily create something like that. If we create, if we're able to create something like that, Lambert W function on both sides, and we will have only our a. Yeah, so it's, it's really great trick. But first of all, uh, it was our second uh, really important trick. But first of all, we need to have e. Let's create e from the left hand side, or saying in another world, let's create something like uh, this function a times e to the power a. This is a really great function to apply Lambert W function, yeah? So x, let's write this x, uh, instead of this x, let's write e to the power natural log x, yeah? It's really great, because right here, if you, if you change this x by e times natural log x, and you multiply it by this natural log x, because we still have it, so we have like natural log x equal to natural log, natural log 4, okay? And let's look closely to this expression right here. <coughs> We just change this x by e to the power natural log x. We just uh, saying in other words, we just change nothing because x and e to the power natural log x is absolutely the same. But right here, let's look at this expression as I wrote before. We have like a and a the same. And right here, we have natural log x and we have natural log x as a power. So it's, it's completely the same. We have e. So it looks like on the left hand side, we completed this step with creating Lambert W function. So, if we can easily apply it, so Lambert W function of this expression, but right here we change, we need to change this uh, order, so we need to write A at first, so uh, this is our A, this is our A as well, so we have like natural log x, natural log x, and times e to the power natural log x, yeah? 
and equal to lambert w function of natural log natural log four. So we just apply natural uh, lambert w function from from both sides. Okay, and right here, let's go back to this rule as I wrote before. Right here, we have like a times e to the power a if we apply lambert w function equal to our a, where a is wherever we want expression. In our case, a equal to natural log x, so we have like a really great expression to Lambert W function, and as a result, whole expression on the left hand side give us only natural log x, natural log x, equal to Lambert W function of natural log 4, okay, natural log 4. Okay, I hope you understand this step, but we need to find our x, we don't need to find our our nature log x, we need to find our x. So let's do this, let's do this right here. So uh, what is what is this trick right here? We need to apply e on both sides, base of e. So right here, base of e of nature log x and equal to base of e of lambert w function of nature log, nature log 4, okay? So we have like e to the power nature log x and e to the power lambert w function. So we just create base of e on both sides. We just change nothing. We do this on the both side. We don't do this only on the left, on the right, which is a really big mistake. We do it on, on both sides, which is really good. And right now, as I told before, let's go back to this expression. So e to the power nature log x equal to only our x. So this is like the reverse rule. And in our minds, we can easily cancel this e and this nature log x. And we have only our x. From this expression, this is only our x. And we, and we really need this. So we we have x equal to e to the power lambert w function of nature log nature log 4. This is our x and this is like the answer for your for your exam. Yeah, this is a really great answer for your exam, but we're interested in, in, in maybe in the exact value of this x and I find this for you. I find this Lambert W function of this uh, natural log 4. It looks like the zero point something, I don't know exactly, but the correct answer when I uh, type uh, type it in this expression in uh, mass library, the correct answer is right here. The correct answer is is 2. You can easily check it if you like don't trust me. You can easily check this expression and you can easily find this x equal to x equal to 2 x equal to 2 this is a correct answer and this is maybe obvious answer yeah i agree with you this is a, like an obvious answer because everyone know that uh, 2 square equal to 4 everyone know that but in mass i would say uh, this is not good solution as i told before it's not good when you write like 2 square equal to or like 2 square equal to 4 and from here x equal to x equal to 2 this is a really bad solution. I, I hope you agree with me because this is first of all bad for, for you, for your teacher, because maybe you learn this uh, Lambert W function. This is like the topic of your mass, mass lecture right here. Your uh, teacher wants you to know about Lambert W function and then you write 2 square equal to 4 and from here x equal to 2. This is really bad solution. This is this uh, inspect solution by inspection. I really don't like it because it's it's really bad solution and uh, students forget about uh, about general solution, about solution uh, st uh, step by step. Mm, with really interesting tricks, of course, you can easily maybe solve it with natural log. Maybe you can easily solve it with not with Lambert W function and it's really mm, great field for student to find to find the methods how can you solve it so forget about this method if you are a student or if you if you're a teacher try to try you to understand that it's really great to solve it step by step yeah as you can see this is nothing hard for it here but this is like a solution it looks like a solution when you find by inspection a correct answer is two it's it's not a solution to this question but when you write it step by step, line by line right here, as you can see, maybe com more complicated as inspection method, but it's, it's, it's a correct method. Inspection method, like it's uh, it's not good for us. For example, if you have x to the power x equal to maybe 27, it looks something like that. We have 3 cube equal to 27, x equal to 3. So as you can see, this is not a good method overall, but step by step, natural log Lambert W function and as you can see it's not like a, on the whole paper it's we have like one two three four five six seven seven lines we have right here so it's not like a huge solution to this question it's not like a mm, complicated solution only natural log on the Lambert W function so in conclusion I want to say forget about this inspection method this is a really bad method and try to solve it step by step try to think try to think about the about knowledge you you know you know before because it's it's really great it is all about mass and inspection method this is really bad as for me uh, personally i don't like it and i hope you 
you understand my thoughts. Thank you for your time and have a great day. I wish you all the best in your mathematic adventures. See you in the next videos and thank you for watching.